Cucadeo, San Pasco, and Tabernash. Welcome back to more Laura Croft. This episode was kind of weird because uh, it felt one-sided, basically. You see what I mean whenever we get into the match, basically? Anyway, today we're going to talk about phones and why is it important. This is one of those series I want to do uh, called uh, Phones and You. Basically, it's talking about all the f good things about phone and then bad times about phone. Anyway, that's not really a series I want to make. If you guys make it, that's cool. Anyway, yeah, ever since I, I just restarted my phone probably like a week ago, probably maybe, and uh, I kind of I don't have anybody's number, so whoever calls me, I, I have to see if it's not the operator, or or uh, what you gonna call it, or oh or a friend or a family basically. You will see it in one in uh, gar uh not gauntlet. Let Oh, and a job opportunity too. I gotta see if that's a job opportunity. But chances are, it's probably just an operator saying, "Hey, uh, uh, or a hacker, if you will, like a somebody, uh, a salesman. I guess it's a, either a salesman or somebody that's trying to take your money. Or okay, only those two. I was thinking a third one, but it's not really a third one, honestly. But yeah, it's really useful because I don't. I'm not good with numbers. The only number that I know is probably my number, and I don't have phone numbers. Any anybody's phone number, so I gotta always answer the call. Usually, whenever I had everybody's number, whenever it's like an unknown number, I just never answer it because it could be just an operator. I'm like, God damn it, stop calling me. I don't know how they get my number. It's probably because of Gmail, probably. That's probably why they they uh they got my number. Probably I don't I don't know how else. I mean, I don't know else my number. Does Twitter have my number? I don't think so. Let me see my Twitter. By the way, if you guys want to follow me, it's Rookie Pro 007. Reason why it's double seven is because somebody else took Rookie Pro. I used to have the name Rookie Pro, but I deleted it for some damn reason. Why did I do that? I have no idea. I'm a pocket sometimes. I'm a pocket. Oh yeah, it doesn't say my number here. I think it used to say. But it does say, hey, what's up, Senpai Squads and Tomodachis? <laughs> I want to say, hey, what's up? Hey, Senpai Squads. Oh no, I said Gukadeo. Why didn't I say Gukadeo here? I guess because uh, Twitter is kind of have only like, what, 50 characters that you only can write in? And uh, there, I, I guess I couldn't find any like more, more. I couldn't like shorten up a little bit, so I guess I, that's why I didn't put Gukadeo. Or, so maybe I should just take away Hey and just put Gukadeo. But that's a, that's like what for five more extra uh, letters in that Twitter, uh, uh, bio thing. Yeah, that's what sucks. I wish I think it added more if I'm mistaken, probably. But it sucks that I just I had to shorten it or just just leave it how it is. So that's why I put Hey, cause that way. Just three letters. Hey, I said, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Uh, Arthur. I used to watch the show back in the day. PBS, uh, Channel Eight, in, in, in my neck of woods in Houston. Uh, I used to come out a lot in uh, probably on the afternoon, probably around four, like whenever school's out. I came out like at four, I, and then we just uh, sometimes I didn't watch it all the time, but I watch it here and there, not all the time. Like, like one episode that day and then maybe two weeks or whenever I remember again it's like, oh shoot I want to watch this one and I started watching it but Blue, I think Blue's Clues was probably one of my favorite ones fortunately I don't think I grew up with that show but I did watch it <laughs> when I was in middle school I was watching it that one I always like to keep up well I try to keep up but I never like another thing I just usually forget that's what I mean like that's why I'm, I'm kind of like grateful for phone numbers because I really don't remember anybody's number or or what have you like I just my memory if it's not like I always say if it's not important then I just won't remember about it but if it's actually something important then I will remember it and just it will stick by me forever but if it's not important then I just, it goes to just pass by me unfortunately like if but something does bother me then it just stick with me forever unfortunately <laughs> that's kind of funny how that works yeah oh they're doing a crash bandicoot nice uh, did you know gaming thing doing Crash Bandicoot can't wait for that one because I, I used to play that game back in the day the PlayStation 1 we used to have to play I still have my PlayStation 1 I, I don't know if that was actually mine but we, I, I have my play uh, I think my brother has probably my PlayStation well that was his because he bought it uh, it's not mine I can't say it's mine <laughs> but yeah I still have it that'd be funny if I could still use it but it's kind of useless for me because I got the I got PlayStation 2, so in PlayStation 2, you can play PlayStation 1 games. And in PlayStation 3, you can play PlayStation 2 games, right? 
Can you play PlayStation 2? Can you play PlayStation 3? Can you play PlayStation 1 games? PS1? There you go. Show on that a little bit. For my behalf. Yeah, I still have Halo 2 too. That I want to I wanna get around doing that game one day. But mm, that day would probably never come. Maybe it won't live probably. Because yeah. that was probably one of my favorite ones. Just the beginning part. After that, I don't really care. Good. I think it was an interesting story. Anyway, yeah. I did Crash Bandicoot. Uh, three if I'm not mistaken warps whatever that one was but I think it is uh, I think it's crash Rider good three. Oh wow I forgot Delta H con gave me a pamphlet nice I wonder I wonder if, I wonder if uh, Del uh, anime Missouri does that hmm I don't know we're really excited about that that's why I keep mentioning that a lot of times I, I talked about it and they each must be madness because it's awesome ah, that's a good water Anyway, yeah, like I said, I was trying to go climb up here because I, I saw somebody climb my climb up there. I'm like, what the freak? How do you how do you do that? So I try to do it. The next one, the next part, in the next uh, in round two, basically, I try to do it a different way, basically, like because I saw somebody roll up there. I'm like, oh, okay, so maybe I have to roll up there. And I think right here, maybe around here, I try to roll, see how you roll. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, so that's why I'm kind of like ready for phones. Hey, we won the first round. Yeah. Next one, let's see if we win or lose. Young Skywalkers. Are you guys were really excited for the new Star Wars movie? I'm really excited about it. Hopefully it's good and it doesn't disappoint anybody. Did you know they're making a uh, Little Mermaid uh, live action like they did with Beauty and the Beast? Did you see that on the trending on YouTube? I think it's still there if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, The Little Memory, 2017. Is that like a hoax or was that a fake? Alright, I'll give you a live reaction. I'm not. I'm looking at it right now and see if I'll give you a live reaction. Alright, if you guys want to do watch it at the same time as me, and I just say play. I'm going back. Alright, one, two, and play. There you go, I'm watching it. Archimedes presents. Alright, we can see some fishies. We can see some fishies. We see some girls talking to grandma. Oh, well, that must be Ariel. I guess. Maybe? What? Whoa. This looks like, like the 1950s or something. Like old days. What? This is not the little mermaid. What? It's a hoax. It's a hoax. Paradox. Maybe? Oh wow. They really... They really changed the little mermaid. Seriously. Now she goes to some gypsy. Yeah, they, they really changed it. It's not... Whoa! She's captured. They captured her. Wow. How have I seen her face? Is that like a daughter or somebody? I feel like I've we I seen her somewhere. Maybe not. I don't know. Wow, they... They, they really changed the story of uh, The Little Mermaid. Wow. It's not it's not gonna be nothing like the movie basically. Oh, so it's just gonna be about the circus captured Ariel basically and he and she Oh that must be Ursula. That that the 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 man, the witch man. Yeah, see right here, it's all that I, I was trying to like climb climb the, the wall right there. But it didn't work, so I'm like, you know what, screw it. I don't know how they do it. I guess you have to do it really quick. I think that's the problem. You gotta, like, do it really quick. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be interesting, folks. I, I don't know if I will watch that movie, seriously. I don't I don't think I will watch it, honestly. It looks interesting. I mean, it, why would, why did they use Little Mermaid? They could have used anybody else. It could be, like, the prisoner or something. Oh, they, could they use that name? There you go. I, that's number three on trending right now as you speak. Probably right now when you're watching this. Alright, I, I throw my two cents in it. Weird. Why did they use that? It's kind of like the whole thing with the Banjo Kazooie. You know how Banjo Kazooie. Uh, you know how Banjo Kazooie. Hopefully it works out. You know, I'm not saying. I'm, I'm not going to watch it though, but. But. You know how like Banjo Kazooie had nuts and bolts? It had, it had nothing to do with Banjo Kazooie like they did with the number one and two? They just reamped it. Like they, they, they just like went to a different direction. They like here's the same direct. They were going the same direction as the movie, and then somehow in some way they just like detour. They went a different way, but in the same way probably. It's in probably in the end they met. I don't know. But she, I think she's a little older in this one probably. 
is, isn't it, if I'm not mistaken, she was 15 in the movie? Maybe? I don't know. And the father, Ariel's father was there too. I think Ursula is the guy, I think. But maybe he's going, maybe, I don't know. But he's a man though. Is his, his name is actually Ursula or is it not? Wow. It, I don't know. Check it out if you guys want to check it out. I'm not going to post it here. I, I can't like do a video, like video reaction to it. But eh, at least it's out here, right? It doesn't count. It doesn't count, does it, folks? I'm sorry. It just, just nothing's happening. I'm telling you. The, the reason why I posted is because I, I, I think I did pretty well. What well, we win, that's why, all right? I'm just going to spoil it right now. I mean, you guys probably wondering how the hell we win because we got seven to five. I don't know. Just stick around. But we did win, folks. We did win. But at least, you know, beating the beast, at least they kind of follow the story a little bit. You know, they still follow the same path, but they they hit some curves, basically. Like, okay, we're going to do this way, and then, but we're going back to where it needs to be, and then blah, 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 you know? Think of a road, but that one just has, like, a lot of curves, basically. Like, But they all go in the same direction, but in this one, they just went past. They went to a detour, basically. They went to a different area. I don't know. I don't, I don't think people will be too happy about it. Well, actually, let's see the comments. See what they say about it. Probably didn't hear the front of the TV because, uh, because, uh, I should see the actors. Let's see the next movie, The House. What is that? I don't, oh, that's with that one dude. Ah. Uh, yeah, they disabled the comments. You can't even see the comments. Wow. They knew, they knew that it's just not going to work out for them. And you can't even see the dislike or the likes at all. Wow, it must be a fake, right? New live action film inspired by the classic Hens. Fairy tale. Also, wait, Hens. Hens is the one who made the. Wait, my is this like the different story of uh, the Little Mermaid that I just don't know? Maybe that's why I've been wrong this whole time. You've been yelling at me, saying, "Hey, yeah, uh, that's the Disney way. It wasn't the way. Is that what you're telling me? Maybe. Maybe. Damn, Little Mermaid was made in 1989. Wow. Yeah, I thought you could have made that, but in reality, you couldn't make that jump. I was like, leap to leap into action, basically. And I blew that up just in case because, uh... I thought you could climb up here, too. The reason why I blew it up is because I feel like I was scared that uh, they're going to use that against me. And, and, or maybe I jump into it and it just explodes whenever I land into the mine. But after that, I never tried again. Also. I was just like, whatever, whatever happens. It was, it was In reality, it, it, it was a boring match, but that's why I was talking about the Little Mermaid and uh, different stuff, basically. After this, I have to go get ready. But I will record Gears after this, after I'm done taking a shower, basically. Oh, I didn't mention that, did I? Yeah, I have to go to a wedding right now. But I kind of decided to do this first. That way, I, whenever I take a shower, I can take that break. And then record the next one of Gears of War. That one's Gears, so. Unfortunately. Yeah. Anyway, 1989. Yeah, I was born in 1989. Surprisingly, it came out when I came out. But I don't know what year, though. So, I can't. We're in the same year, though. Oh no, this is probably going to a different one then, because the director is Ron Clements and John Musker. And this one, uh, this one's a new inspired by the classic Haynes uh, Anderson fairy tale. Let's see, let's, let's Google that. Who the hell is Haynes? Maybe I know who that is, or maybe I'm a test sometimes. But let's see. Come on. Uh, where is the V? There's the V. There we go. The Little Mermaid by Haynes. Here we go. See? Somebody else Googled it. That was the second choice right there. Oh, they're going by the book. Oh, I didn't know there was a book of this dang thing. Seriously? Wow. Alright, I'm going to read the, the the bio for this. The Little Mermaid is a fairy tale written by There's Arthur Haynes about a young mermaid who's willing to give up her life to the sea, her identity, the mermaid gang, human soul. What? That has nothing to do with the damn movie. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna, uh, we're, uh, I'm just gonna like be with open eyes. So I'm not, I'm not gonna be like this movie's gonna suck or crash and burn. We're just gonna, we know we're gonna have hope. I, I have hope, you know, because they at least are trying to uh, put, uh, uh, put another direction. It's kind of like the whole thing about uh, Maleficent. That was a cool direction of that one. I don't think that movie did well, but I thought it was pretty neat showing uh, the good side of her. Basically, it's kind of like Dante, basically, because you know how he's a He's a devil, and he's actually a good guy, but everybody, well, I don't know where I'm going with this. You know what, just scrap that, whatever I was talking about, just throw it in the trash. Here, I opened the bin for you guys to open it and put it in the trash. 
There you go. I'm closing the bag. All right, put it in the bag now. Put it in the bag. All right, now it's outside. I don't know what day your trash bag goes by. Nah, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So hopefully it turns out well. Uh, this match sucks. I'm just gonna put it out there. Uh, hopefully the next one, whenever I record some more, uh, some more, uh, some more uh, Laura Croft. And yeah, good on everybody. Good job, everybody. We tried our best. Thank you, phone, to make an appearance. Stop making an appearance, phone. Jeez, man. Every time with you, man. Every time. That was my Twitter. Something about packs. I didn't know that was happening this uh, this month. I, d I didn't know that. I guess it happens in March, probably. Alright, then, folks. So hopefully, you like my ramble about uh, the Little Mermaid. I, d I was actually not planning to talk about that, but yeah, that came out of nowhere. How did that come up in the in the fields? How did that activate that? Or how the hell did that come up with the conversation? I don't remember. See? Memories. Memories key, folks. Told you. Things pass by me. Anyway, mind you like always, hope you hit the subscribe button, hope you hit the like button, thank you for watching, go watch the, go to trending, and then just go watch The Little Mermaid, you can watch it at the same time when I watch it, or maybe not, I have no idea, but thank you for watching folks, uh, hope you hit the subscribe button, I'll see you later, just below those other games that are playing, hope you check them out, and i see you later folks, mind you like always, have a beautiful day folks, the next one should be, Gears of War, yeah, you see, everybody backed out, it was my team and the other team, they both backed out basically. Alright then folks, see you later, have a good one.